Very pleasant morning to you all, viewers out there. It's a beautiful Sunday morning again, and we meet again to talk about human values. And welcome to another session of Growing Up With Values with Aunt Truth. And as usual, I'm quite excited to meet with you all this morning again for another session. And I would like you to imagine you are going to school and you are in a traffic pileup. And how do you feel? You are excited to be in school early. Everyone wants to be on time, wherever they're going, whether it's to school or to work or wherever. So you are in a traffic pileup and you look around at all the other drivers, all the other people in the cars that are around you. And you see faces that are angry, faces that are grumpy, um, faces that are not very pleasant to look at because an angry face is not a beautiful face. And you are sitting there and you are saying to yourself, what do we do? And you suddenly tell mommy and daddy, come let's, cho let's chat and you, tick you think about things that are pleasant and you overcome this excitement to get where you want to go so quickly because you cannot get far. You cannot drive over the cars apparently. And you cannot bypass a car because it is a whole long line of traffic. So you think to yourself, mommy or daddy, let's play some music in the car. And you listen, your mommy, daddy put on some music and you listen to the music. And you become very calm and peaceful. And you tell yourselves, I cannot get out of this. I need to be peaceful. I need to be relaxed. I need to be doing something that I can enjoy. And you listen to your music in the car with your mommy and your daddy and your brothers and your sisters. And you talk, you have pleasant conversations. So when you, there's reason to someone, for someone to be angry, there's always something that they can do to get that anger out of their system. Because anger is not good for your system. Right? It can, it can affect you negatively in a bad way. So you think to yourself, let me do things that I will not be angry. And you are frustrated, but you deal with it. So parents deal with frustration all the time, but they have to find ways to overcome that. We are, we, the situations can always frustrate us and have us thinking negative thoughts. But we, in our own minds, have to think of things that we can do to overcome that anxiety and that anger. As we said before, anger is like a dangerous dog. Always keep it properly chained. And the opposite of angry is being peaceful and patient. So let us sit now quietly and let us be at peace with ourselves. I, yes, I usually wait for you all to sit down. Good. Everybody sitting now? Good. So we close our eyes and we imagine that we are in this traffic pile. And we are imagining that we can deal with the situation. 
and I know it is a it is a very frustrating but to you you can overcome that by the things that you do you sing along with mommy and daddy and brothers and sisters there are lovely songs that can that you can sing in the car and pass away the time so you are there very happy singing humming chatting with mommy and daddy about what your day is going to be like and you sit there calmly and peacefully and you wonder to yourself why can't everybody else do something to occupy their time uh -huh. so we sit quietly peacefully thinking positive thoughts okay and we gently open our eyes right and we back to where we were right and this is a beautiful day outside and i am sure you are enjoying the sunshine that we are having and today's story is about a little boy a 10 year old boy called daya daya was 10 years old and he lived in a small village in africa and Daya's greatest dream was to be the best warrior in his land. And to achieve that, he thought, how can I achieve that? I would go and I would ask my teacher. So he ran to where the teacher was and he said, sir, sir, I would like to be the greatest warrior in my village. So the teacher just looked at him and said, Daya, that is your greatest wish? He said, yes, sir, that is my greatest wish. I would like to be the best warrior in this village. And the teacher said, well, Daya, what you have to become the greatest warrior is to cut the tail of, sorry, to cut the mane of a living lion. Right? To cut the mane of a living lion. Now, do you see what we have here? This is a picture of a lion. And where is the lion's mane? Where is it? Right. This is the lion mane. Good? So a lion is a, an animal who everybody is scared of. And the teacher told Daya, Daya, in order to become the greatest warrior in your village, you have to cut the mane of a living lion. And Daya was so taken aback, he was surprised. He said, but, 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 but sir, I, 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 ca I cannot cut the mane of, of a living lion. And where am I going to see a living lion? So the teacher said, Daya, in this village, you would see lions every so often, right? You would see lions in your village. So you just go and cut a piece of the mane of a living lion. Forest. So Daya was horrified. He did not know what to do. But then he thought to himself, well, yes, lions are to be seen in this village. Forest. So around the forest area. So... As fate would have it, one day as he was walking home, what do you think Daya saw? Yes, he saw a lion sitting in the shade of a huge tree. And he looked at the lion and the lion looked at him, but he stayed very, very, very far from the lion. And he looked at, and they looked at each other and none daring to go any closer to the other one. So, he went home after that, and he asked himself, how am I going to cut the mane of this lion? So, the next day he went, the lion was right there, and he sat down there and he looked at the lion as well. So, every day he would pass on that same area, and he would see the lion. And first of all, when the lion saw him, how do you think the lion would react? Yeah, first meeting, the lion would 
roar loudly. Can you roar like a lion? Right, when the lion sees something that he doesn't like, he usually roars very loudly. Let me hear you roar. Ah, yeah, right. You, you all can roar like lions, right? But as days passed and he met the lion, the roaring became like a little prone. Uh, the lion was not taking him on anymore. So after a week or two, he went closer and closer. So every day, he would go closer to the lion until the lion started to trust him. The lion didn't think of anything of him sitting there and he didn't bother with the lion. He just sat there and looked at each other. So as time passed, weeks went into months and the lion went, he went closer to the lion and the lion just sat there and looked at him and so on. So he did one day after about five months of sitting and moving up closer and one day he went and he pat the lion's back. He started to pat the lion's back. He was very, very scared, but he knew he had to cut the mane, so he went a little closer, and he started to pat the lion's back. So one day passed, and another day they passed, and he went and he continued to pat the lion's back. So after a few days of patting the lion's back, he said to himself, I think it is now time to cut the lion's mane. So he went with his scissors to cut the lion's mane, and when the lion, well, the lion started to trust him now, and he let him play with his back, and he play with his mane, all the hair on his back and all of that. And next day he went, prepared to cut it, and when he reached here, bam, he cut off a piece of the mane, and he just left and he ran. He ran straight to the teacher's house. And he said, sir, 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 I have cut the lion's mane. And what sir did? Sir didn't really react so anxiously. He said, well, Daya, how long did it take you to cut the lion's mane? He said, sir, sir, it took me, he, because he was out of breath, because he was running, running to the, to the teacher's home. Sir, it took me six months. Each day I went closer and closer to the lion, and he continued to tell the teacher what happened with him, himself and the lion. Every day I went closer until I started to pat the lion's back, and then the lion trusted me, and then I cut it and I came straight here. The lion said, yeah, the teacher said, yes, Daya, it, take, it has taken you how much time? Yes, sir, six months, six months. He said, yes, six months, but you were patient. You achieved your goal, so now you can become the greatest warrior in the village. The same way that you practice patience and you cut the lines mean, you can practice patience and become the chief warrior in the village. And, and Daya was so happy that he did what the teacher asked and he was patient and he did achieve his goal. So now I'm going to ask you some questions on the story. Okay, Vivek, where did Daya live? Yeah, right, in a little village in Africa. How, Praveer, how old was Daya? Mm, he's 10 years old. What was his greatest dream, Devan? Yes, to become the tree, chief warrior. Whom did he visit to get advice? Sharvi. Right, Sharvi. Sarvesh, what he went to visit the teacher, what did the teacher ask him to do? To cut the male, the male of a living lion. Right. Now, if you were dire, Sanjeev, if you were dire, how would you feel when the teacher asked you to do that? Yes, you would be scared, right? Uh-huh. Right. So it was something impossible you would think. Rajiv, what happened every time he went closer and closer to the lion? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, the lion was becoming accustomed to him and he was beginning to trust him. Kavir, how did he gain the lion's trust? by going closer and closer and patting him. 
Now, what would really Sanjana? What do you think would have happened if he went to cut the lion's mane as soon as he saw him? The first time when he saw him, and he had tried to cut him. What do you think would be the lion's reaction? Yes, I would think so too. Somebody is coming after the lion to cut his mane. And he doesn't know this person. Wow. Mm. I mean, you can just imagine what would happen there. Right? Something frightened Gitanjali. Yeah. Achilles, how did you feel when Daya eventually cut to me? Mm -hmm. Right. He was feeling really very, very relieved. Right? He had achieved what he set out to do. Ravina, how did the teacher react to Daya when he came back with the lion's mane? Yeah, right? The teacher didn't behave as if it was any big thing. He was just, he just accepted it for what it was. Sakshi, what did Daya learn from this experience? Right. Have to be patient to achieve what you want in life. Now, if Daya had not done what he had done after six months, right? What would have been his fault? Right, he was not patient enough to wait that long and achieve his goal. Now, if you want, if you were in school and you got an assignment, what what effort would you put into it? Right. Some children do assignment because they have to do it. And they just do it all without any effort. But some people sit on their work and they look and they want to get excellent results. So they put out extra effort. And this is what, what this is about. Patience. You do something with patience and you get the greatest goal that you can. Now something, let us see what else we need to, to do with patience to achieve our goal. Can you think of any acts that requires patience on your part? Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that, that you can do? Ride, riding a bicycle. Do you just go on a bicycle one day, a two-wheeler that is, do you go on a two-wheeler bicycle and just expect to ride down the road? No, right. it takes days, weeks, and probably months of practice before you can ride properly, right? So everything takes practice and patience. Okay, and let us share a song. I think some of you all would know the song already. Okay, we listen to Nishesh now as he sings us a song. Don't. Okay, we'll read the words. Don't give up, no matter what the task is. You'll succeed, but only if you try. Only if you try real hard, only if you do your best. Try real hard, do your best. Only if you try. Okay, this should be tried, right? Okay, let's, let's have Nishesh sing it for us. Cause you succeed, but 
And let us take our situation. Now, this week, probably end of this week by next week, all children will be involved in online classes. Okay, as, as, as per instruction by the Ministry of Education, schools will be, classes will begin for all students whether it's online or physical copying of papers and sending the parents who cannot get computer services or internet or things like that. So you all are preparing for your future. So far, a lot of us have lost time with schoolwork and we need to make up for that. Now, children, you need to do what you have to do. You have to be responsible enough. Parents and teachers can only guide you. But in this situation, you have to know what you have to do. Now, I, I think teachers are going to prepare syllabus at the beginning of the, the teaching period. And you are supposed to be following up with that syllabus. People with online classes who have internet services and computers available and so on can go online. Those who are not, the ministry has um, said that they would have physical hard, copies. physical hard copies that you can collect at school and you have to be responsible enough to prepare your work, sit at home, do your studies and then return question papers and so on for teachers to correct. So it has to take a lot of planning and it has to take a lot of will and responsibility on your part, on your part, on your parents' part, and well, of course, the teachers have their things to do as well. So, in the, but, but Dyer, Dyer practiced for six months the scene between himself and the lion. So, you have already lost some time. You are supposed to be making up for all that lost time. So your work might seem a little more difficult, but you have to focus on what you have to do. Focus is the key to success. Whatever is your goal, you focus on that and you do it accordingly. So success comes from several things. Success comes from, plan first of all, planning, right? Planning. Do we sit every day and plan what we have to do for that day? How many of us make a daily plan? Uh, yeah, not many of us, right? So at the beginning of the day, you are going to ask yourself, what am I going to achieve today? And you plan today, I'm going to do so and so and so. One exercise, two exercise, three exercise, maths, English, social studies, whatever it is you're going to do today. And you stick to it, you focus on it, and you do what you have to do. Sometimes you might be stuck with a problem. What do you do? You simply close your book, you ask for God guidance, God's grace and guidance, and you continue. You come back to that problem, I'm sure when you come back a second time, you're going to find answers. So be patient. With time, everything can be achieved. Every goal can be achieved. So first of all, planning. 
planning your day's activity. You already know what the teacher has in mind. You plan ahead. So you know what is, what is coming. You plan ahead. Effort and hard work. Okay? Now, I know a lot of children. I, I used to be a teacher. I am still a teacher. I know a lot of children have assignments to do. And they do the minimum. Oh gosh, I finished my homework. But they don't put any extra effort. We need to put that extra effort if we are to excel. And excel meaning means giving of your best. Right? You always give of your best. You don't do something slip shot and say, right, that's it, I finish. You look over your work. You try to do the best that you can. Always. Always give you 100%. Patience. As dire stories showed us, we must be patient in whatever we do. Don't say, oh gosh, I have to do this. Uh -huh. And you frustrate yourself. You think that I have to do it and I just have to get over it. No, you be patient. Look at a problem. You look at it again. And... You figure out a way that you can, in which you can do it. If you can't immediately, close the book and go to something else. Yep. When you come back to it, you would find a solution. I, I can assure you of that. Right? So don't look, a prob don't look at problems like problems. Look at problems like a challenge, a challenge to you. Don't you all like challenges? I am sure everybody likes a challenge. Arna, don't you like a challenge? Yes, I am sure everybody, Abby. All right. We have challenges in life that we have to overcome. And we have to work out ways in which to overcome those challenges. Right? So life is a challenge as well. Be patient and you'll overcome any challenge that you meet in life. Right? If you cannot overcome a challenge, call me. We have a little chat. Right? Lots of patience and focus. Now, there's a word, called, a word called determination. Do you know what determination means? Yeah, everybody should know what determination means. Determination means sticking to something until you get the answer. Right? I am determined to get this answer. And you ponder on it. You go back and forth and you are determined to overcome that challenge and you will overcome it. So there's that one word determination which means a lot and it should mean a lot in your life too. When you are determined, you must get over whatever challenges you have. So always be determined whether it takes patience or focus or whatever quality you need to put into it, you need to put into it. Right. No. Not giving up. You don't ever give up. There's another word called perseverance. Perseverance, it means try and try again. We did a story on perseverance as well. Try and try again. If at first you don't succeed, you try. You try again and again and again. Right. And of course, you must put God into all your actions, right? Whatever religion you belong to, whatever religious beliefs you have, God is always your first guide. So with all the challenges, you pray for God's grace and guidance and success will surely be yours. So as you prepare the school, I would like you all to focus, to live up to all the challenges that you have in life, there's always an open wherever. And try your best. Be cooperative. <coughs> you, might, you might think that mommy and daddy will make me do so many things. <coughs> Excuse me. And you think it's unfair, but it is all in your interest. I think teachers and parents have your interests at heart. So cooperate, 
have patience and do what is expected of you and like Daya, you will achieve your goal. And always remember, with patience, every goal can be achieved, right? With patience, repeat after me, with patience, every goal can be achieved. Okay, before, before we close, let us sing the song again. Let, let's say Nishish. Thank you, Nishish, for your song. and you will try in whatever you do always work towards excellence work towards less excellence be cooperative with your teachers and your parents to achieve your highest potential that means to achieve the best that you can achieve and with that I say goodbye love you all and hope to see you next week again at the same time. Bye, love you.